Hello everyone, Davey Taco here, and welcome back to more Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I wasn't going to post a video today. I was just online playing for fun, grinding some XP, trying to level up some characters, when all of a sudden I came across a build that I just absolutely fell in love with um, on Sissy. Uh, it's been an absolute blast to play. As a matter of fact, the very last game I played, we were able to kill all four victims by ourselves. It was the single biggest achievement of my life. Uh, the little box, little Xbox box popped up and everything said, congratulations, big achievement. So I um, <laughs> thought I would post a video and show you guys what we're running with on Sissy currently. So for perks, we are using Special Blend. This is a, the key to the entire build we're currently running. So walking through Sissy's Poison Clouds boosts your stamina regeneration by 30% for 20 seconds. And it gives your next attack a poison effect. That's huge because we're also taking Rubber Legs. Your toxic cloud and poisoned items also slow victims down by 15%. So I maybe haven't quite confirmed 100% that this is applied to your, um, your basic attack from Special Blend. But in the few games I've played, it does seem that when um, I hit them and they're poisoned, I feel like they are noticeably slower. Um, plus they're a little disoriented. So it makes it so much easier to just stay on top of them and kill them. It's almost impossible for them to escape you if you get that first hit on them with your poison on your attack. Finally, we're taking Surgical simply because with this build, we're trying to be more aggressive. We're not, we're not wanting to spend too much time harvesting blood from blood buckets. Rather, we want to get into the thick of the action as quickly as possible so that we can start getting some kills. And uh, basically, every time you kill someone, with this perk, you're going to be capped out in blood. At least that's what I've experienced so far. Um, so I just turn around, go feed grandpa. Unless there's someone nearby that needs to be killed <laughs> that I see. And for that reason, because of this perk, I didn't add anything into blood harvesting. Um, it, it feels like it would be overkill. Because again, we're not really focusing on the blood bucket. Uh, rather, we're focusing on just going and killing people and getting blood that way. For our grandpa ability, we are taking don't have all day. This is reducing the stamina drain uh, while sprinting by 20%. Sometimes I take well-fed youngins. It just kind of depends um, on what my uh, other fellow family members take. Um, and as I mentioned, no points in blood harvesting, no points in savagery because her savagery is just low. There's no changing that. So all of our points are going into endurance to keep us in the fight and to increase our melee attack frequency. So without further ado, let's hop into a match and see how we do. All right. So unfortunately, I think this is the slaughterhouse, which is by far my least favorite map. It's like I, I just know it the least out of all the other maps or the, the few other maps there are. So we'll still try our best, <laughs> but no promises. I might get lost a few times. Um, and unfortunately, we got to sit here and channel on this battery, which is really going to slow us down from getting into the, the thick of things as quickly as I wanted to. But just there is a poison station here, so I'm just going to go ahead, take my poison cloud. I'm going to run through it, you know, get a good good coating there on our on our weapon, on our razor blade. And uh, now we just go try to find people to kill. Um, since we are so far away from people right now, I will stop and get a couple of blood buckets. I know kind of in the introduction I talked about not focusing so much on the, the blood buckets, which is still absolutely true. Um, but since we're, you know, when in Rome, like <laughs> we have a way to go, a ways to go. And I think we passed two or three, maybe even four blood buckets along the way. So uh, it doesn't hurt to grab some. We'll be able to wake up the good old grandpa. We do have one victim uh, disconnecting early. That is that is unfortunate. You hate to see it. That's just going to make it easier for us, I suppose. Hopefully we're able to get some action before everyone's killed or gets disconnected, though. Uh, Alright, make sure we lock the door. Oh, grandpa is awake. So now we know that the victims are coming out of the basement. Again, I don't know this map too well, but I feel like a lot of the fighting tends to happen right in this general area. <laughs> and like if it doesn't, then I just have no idea where anyone is. Like <laughs> That's that's my, the two ways I play this map, either right here or just abundantly clueless and running around, scratching my head, trying to figure out what on earth I'm doing. Grandpa is down on the lower floor today. Hello, Grandpa. Too much Are sun you for you. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. This will... Perk you right up, sir. All right. 
There you go. Enjoy. Because all positive. You're welcome. All right, now let's take a look here. Doesn't look like they came out here. Locked up. Uh, oh, 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 that's the cook. You, sir. Your tricksy one. I thought that I, 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 I saw him and I just immediately thought victim. I got bloodlust. I have bloodlust right now. I gotta find someone. Crawl through the bones. That's not tip anyone off. If we can't. Okay, so we see Leatherface over there. Doesn't really look like he's chasing anyone? Question mark. He's just kind of doing his thing. He's just being a Leatherface. Just doing Leatherface things. Empty blood bucket. So I would assume the cook probably came through here. Probably where he left a second ago. Let's let's uh let's head back out here. See what's popping. Man, I hope there's some action. Sheesh. All right, let's start checking some of these bushes. See if we got anyone hiding out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, ah, the second time, Cook. Ah. Wish friendly fire was on. I'm gonna just go attack him. Take him down. All right. No, nope, nobody went through the crawl space there. If they were here at all. Grandpa's power increase. I'm going to run back this way and check on the kind of where we came from. Because I'm a little concerned. We haven't seen or heard anybody. We do see a victim. Hello, friend. No, I just want to be your... You, no, I want to be your friend. You do get the hit off. And as you can see, she ain't going nowhere right now. I am out of stamina, though. Come here. She's like two, two good hits away from death. There we are. First victim down. You have really gruesome fatality. And that's what I'm calling these. These are now fatalities. You are welcome to steal that. You're welcome for that. And I hope that made your day. All right. Let's go this way. See if anyone's hanging out in the bushes over here. But these victims, sometimes they like to travel in packs, you know what I mean? Sometimes they like to travel in packs. So you just have to be mindful of that. Check check your bushes. Make sure you don't have any cheeky victims hanging out, waiting for you to walk away. Be like, oh, he won't think I'm over here. But you're wrong. I do think you're over here. But apparently I'm wrong. Nobody is over here. All right. I'm going to come back, loop around one more time. Just to, oh. Is this the chainsaw guy? With Leatherface, did you leave that door open? How many times I tell you? You gotta close the door. You gotta close and lock it. Was it even unlocked, sir? Or did you just come in here and... It is opened, actually. It is possible that the last victim, maybe, possibly got it uh, open before we killed her. Uh, maybe? Someone, I think someone may, do they have a Connie? They do have a Connie, so Connie could have very well opened that door. Uh, okay, all right. I do think we need to go back and look. I don't know where the cook is. Is he over here? Where, where's the cook? <laughs> he just spontaneously shows up, makes me think he's a victim, and then he just disappears. That's just, that's all he's contributed. We do need to feed Grandpa. We've got a full I'm vial because we got that kill. Years. So like I said, just getting one kill um you've got tons of blood we d you don't have to stop for blood buckets at all with this build they just go and passively increase grand as you get kills uh i'm gonna come check over yonder i guess i didn't need to this is the like pressure door i believe it needs to be activated in order to be opened i think they need a valve so I'm going to assume that the victims are probably actually, oh, oh my gosh, cook. Every time, gets me every time. All right. All right, sir. Oh, we do hear the pressure door opening. I believe that's this door over here, isn't it? Oh, that is this. this I see some steam and stuff going on up over here. I think this opens the... What does this open? See, this is 
I'm still learning a little bit, so like this is a thing. I don't know what it does. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No reason to panic. This was locked. There's no reason to come in here. But here we are. Go ahead and lock this. Um, I'm gonna try to make my way over towards Leatherface. Oh, this is latched. Very interesting, actually. Why is that latched, one wonders. Oh, I do have to also put the poison back up on my weapon. Grandpa is in danger. We do see a... Oh, we're just going to leave this open and try to get right in on this face. Where'd he go? Oh, no. One victim. One victim just escaped right in front of us. Oh, there's... Is that the uh, another victim or is that the cook? the cook all right we're gonna check this right side make sure there's no victims try to over here because they're coming from that side so that side should be completely safe i thought i saw a victim running around here maybe it was sunny i thought i saw like a leland or something yeah they don't have a leland all right must have been a sunny Oh, we see victims over here. Where have the victims been this whole game? Like, I feel like I, like, searched up here pretty good. I didn't find anyone, so I was like, okay, let's go to where Leatherface was. And now they're all over here again? Are they just moving incredibly slow? So we do see there's Connie. She is going this way. We're going to try to cut her off. I do have the slow on my weapon if we can get her. If we can get her. One good swing. Oh, Connie. Oh, she's going to get away. She's going to get away. My stamina is low. Here comes the cook. Oh, we miss her again. Gosh, dang, staircase dog. All right. All right, we do see her ankles go through this door. Where are you going, Connie? What are you doing? We are out of stamina, unfortunately, but she should be poisoned. All right, we do have a full stamina bar. We're running as fast as we can. Oh, there she is. She's up on the top level. We're going around. She goes back down. Uh, we're gonna try to cut her off somewhere. Uh, shoot. I think, I think we just got juked hardcore, boys. I think we just got juked hardcore. Alright, we do see her. She's opening this, but she's not gonna open it fast enough. We do get a kill. On. On. Good try. You know... I give it to you. That was a good try. That was a good try. Alright, is that everyone? Alright, so we did get one uh, one escape, two kills, uh, but we did accomplish uh, getting both of those kills. That was all us. All thanks to us. Look at that. Okay, okay. I guess we got three kills. We got a kill in the early game. Someone must have disconnected after they got killed. Yeah, they must have quit because they're getting chased by Leatherface. Alright, anyways. Um, as you can see, really good build. You just got to get one good hit off, and then usually you're able to stay within range. That Connie was a slippery one, though. But we did we did get a few good swipes on her before she was able to kind of juke us. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.